I can't compete against normal people anymore because I'm just gagging uncontrollably. I accidentally, I was rowing next to a guy and I turned and I gagged and I was like, I'm so sorry. That was disgusting. You know, and he's like, you're fine. And I was like, no, that's so gross. Like, yeah. so sorry. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I'm doing something a little bit different here today. Instead of my normal vlog content, I am doing an interview with an athlete. Her name is Morgan Johnson. Now, if you want to see more interviews like this, I do have more coming and more vlog style content. Make sure you subscribe right now. Do it right now. It helps me out so much. It's going to allow me to make more of these videos for me to share with you. I love making them and I hope you're enjoying watching them. Now, back to Morgan Johnson. She is an athlete in the neuromuscular division. That's what she competed in in the open and she did get that cleared with CrossFit first. She has Tourette's syndrome. If you're curious about what that is, I have that listed right here for you so you can take a look at that. She's also going to explain more details about it in her own words in the interview to come. But this disorder, it impacts her ability to do a lot of the movements in CrossFit and her certain tics, they change and they impact things more than they have in the past right now and they could get even worse. She just doesn't know how the disorder is going to change over the years. So this year she reached out to CrossFit, asked them if it qualified as a neuromuscular disorder. They said yes. They told her good luck, compete in the open, let's see how you do. And she finished first. And since then now CrossFit is coming back and saying we're not sure if it qualifies. They're asking for more things from her. She'll explain more details about this in the interview to come. But the bottom line right now is she doesn't know if she's going to be able to compete in semifinals. She was the number one qualifying athlete in the open and now she just doesn't know and she's waiting for an invite to see if CrossFit will allow her to compete after they told her she could compete in this division. So there's a lot of questions right now for her and for a lot of people that have heard this story. I wanted her to have the chance to tell it in her own words. So that's why I'm giving her this opportunity to do this interview. And it's an opportunity for me to get to share her story. And I'm very happy I get to do that. You're going to see and hear more. You'll see some video of how her tics impact her working out. I think that is an important thing for people to see and understand more because I didn't know a lot about Tourette's. I know a lot more now, but I didn't know at the time. And uh, you'll probably know a lot more after you watch this video and uh, hear Morgan's story. So take a listen. I also put chapters down here so that if you want to listen to certain parts of this, not others, you can skip around if things interest you more than others. Skip to those things. I appreciate all of you watching this and I hope you'll subscribe and watch further videos. So we actually know each other. We've met before. I have yeah. a picture of us sitting together on the rower. We were right next to each other on that rower event. I was like dancing around like a dumb dumb. Like I have a video of me where I was just like, <laughs> we were having a good time. It was good energy right before, um, right before an event, the first event of the day. But when you were at Wadapalooza, I believe you were talking to some of the uh, neuromuscular division athletes. Yeah, and that kind of led to your open journey. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, so um, it was a complete accident. Um, my, uh, I think you know, uh, day one of Wadapalooza was like cluster to put it nicely like none of us knew where to go like yep. we we had no idea it was so big um and so I think uh before event one I was running around and I was asking anyone I was like what division are you what division are you and I came across two girls I was like are y'all scaled female and they're like no we're neuromuscular and I was like oh cool like you know why what do you have and they just kind of explained like their condition I was like oh that's cool I was like I have Tourette's and they just both looked at me and they're like why are you not with us I was like what do you mean and they're like Tourette's is neuromuscular like you're one of us and so we like cracked jokes back and forth and I that's when it kind of started spinning when I was like am I like because I I've done many competitions before um they act up sometimes they've gotten worse so that's what kind of led into me um like going into it because that's when I started CrossFit was they it made it better and then as time went on I started watching videos back and going oh 
Like I had no idea. Like I think I, I think I have a five like video on my Instagram and it's like five videos back to back. And in my caption, I say like, did you see that? Did you see that kind of thing? And it takes four or five videos. And then you're like, it's all probably like years of me lifting. And then you can see all the ticks that are happening that I never noticed until I was like, oh, I'm just watching it right now. Like, and that's just what would happen. Um, but I was just like, that's normal. And then they just started getting really bad. Like the head one, um, when I was doing a kettlebell swing, that's the worst they've ever been, um, at that specific time. And I had probably like 20 people watching me and they're probably going, what is happening? Because usually like, it's no big deal. And they're probably like, um, okay. Like, and only my boyfriend at the time was like, she's fine. Everything's good. You know, like calming them down. They're probably like, she's having a seizure. So I never thought of anything into it. And then, so when they said something, I was like, maybe, you know, and they, they had started getting worse. So I emailed CrossFit and I was like, Hey, like, um, you know, the emails are out, but like, I basically was like, I don't want to overstep my boundaries and just like assume I'm neuromuscular. So like, I want to know. And they came back and they're like, Tourette syndrome is good to go. Like you're eligible for neuromuscular. Um, go ahead, sign up and um, good luck. And that was their email. And I was like, okay. So I actually sat on it for about a week because I hadn't signed up for the open yet. So I sat on it for about a week. I talked to like three or four people that I really like respected their opinions and was like, what do you think? Because not that like I'm very known in CrossFit, but around Houston and around competitions, everyone kind of knows me just because I'm like you said earlier, I'm crazy at competitions. Like I'm like dancing and like having fun. So I'm like a photographer's best, like, you know, dream come true. Um, you know, like me. So people know me. And so I was like, they're probably gonna be like, I've competed against her. Like she's just fine. All that stuff. Um, so I talked to them and they're like, obviously, like, if you think you should do it, you should, you know, do it, do it full, like, don't half-ass it, do everything to the best of your ability, um, and whatever comes from it. And then, you know, people were like, get ready though, just in case. I was like, you're right. And then they're like, also find your reason, like, why, like, why are you, you know, doing this, um, when you could be potentially like just normal um rx or scaled or whatever and so i was like okay i sat on it i was like i'm gonna do it let's go so signed up did it did all the stuff um in the neuro like adaptive division ended up getting first in the thing i didn't outright like outright win any event i actually didn't win a single event i got uh, yeah, I noticed that. I looked at that. Yeah. You got like seconds or thirds. So someone yeah. beat you in everything. Someone was better in every workout. Which made me not happy, but it proves that I didn't blow out the competition. Mm -hmm. I'm not like superior because, you know, something it's, I never won a single workout. I was just consistent enough and didn't have a bad one, which is kind of like, you know, Constant. that's Definitely. like, yeah, you, if you stay consistent, you don't have to win a thing and you can still win kind of thing. So that's what happened for me. Um, and the girl who got second actually was two points behind me. So it's not like anything crazy. Um, and you know, I've been fortunate enough to, so like after all that happened, um, we started getting emails back saying like, you need to, you know, um, you know, confirm your condition, all this stuff. And I get an email back and it was like, Tourette's is not an eligible condition by itself. And that's when I was like, I literally said, I have Tourette's. <laughs> this is how it affects me. What the heck? Um, and that's where it got very, uh, very weird because uh, I will point out in the handbook for like the neuro, there's only about five or six actual conditions it has. Okay. Um, like, so the people that are normally in um, neuro, like cerebral palsy, MS, stuff like yeah. that, those those aren't even listed on there. It's just more side effects or comorbidities of that um, condition that are listed. 
So Tourette's isn't obviously just like on there. That's why I asked. And um, they like in the little thing, it has a, these are not eligible. And at the very end, it does say ticks and mannerisms are not eligible. And I was like, yeah, like got that. Um, and they did send that to me in CrossFit. This was all after the fact <laughs> um, of saying good to go, but they sent it to me and I was like, okay, just a heads up, everyone with Tourette's, like for all the people who don't know what Tourette's is, everyone with Tourette's has ticks. <laughs> That's what Tourette's is. Um, whether it be uh, motor ticks, which y'all all seen, I've been doing them, um, vocal ticks and mental ticks. So we have ticks and then they vary wildly across how violent they are, how subtle they are. Um, and that's where Tourette's kind of gets its differences. So if I just had like my normal, like this, that's fine. I'm able to usually do things with that, but I've gotten a new tick recently. Um, and it's where I gag, uh, super cute. It's <laughs> going to get me a man one day. I'm just kidding. Um, no. So it, uh, it happens. I'm trying to like play scientist with it and figure out like <laughs> when my heart rate's too high, da, da, da. like I can't figure it out. Um, it happens a lot when something's overhead, just super okay. great. So I ended up, um, I put a one Oh five bar over my head and I gagged immediately. And I just chunked it. I was like, not dropping it on myself. Like just not doing that today. So yeah. it's very sketchy on that one. Um, but then I was like, okay, maybe it's when things are overhead. And then I put a belt on to do front squats, gagged at the bottom of my front squat. I was like, okay, let's try to take the belt off. Still did it. I was like, cool. Um, and then I was doing double unders and started gagging. I was like, okay, so it's everything. It's not just going to be like one thing. Um, so I think it's more when I'm, uh, at the higher end of like the end of a workout where you're kind of really tired, everything's kind of going, that's when my ticks are the worst. And that's when the gagging starts, which pretty much stops my workout completely. I did have to stop a workout just to walk outside and throw up. Cause I was like, well, this is the day. Um, so it's getting more difficult. And I guess that's where I'm kind of like frustrated because I guess in the end, if CrossFit's like, nah, like, sorry, we're not gonna, <laughs> you know, deal with this today. Um, I can't really like, I can't compete against normal people anymore because I'm just gagging uncontrollably. I accidentally, I was rowing next to a guy and I turned and I gagged and I was like, I'm so sorry. That was disgusting. You know, and he's like, you're fine. And I was like, no, that's so gross. Like, yeah. <laughs> so, <sorry. laughs> so it's been just wild. And I guess now, um, like I sent them everything they wanted. Um, and basically I am waiting for an invite for my semifinals. Cause we go straight to semis. We skip quarters. Um, so if I get that invite, I guess they said, yeah. Um, if I don't, I'm going to guess they said not dealing with that today and <laughs> stepping out. So it's, it's I don't really think anyone's gotten those invites yet though. No. Um, okay. so ours, so our semifinal isn't till June. So, okay. which is the, I think it's the second or third week of actual semis. So we're way deep. Like we have, yeah. we could send it, you know, May. Yeah, that's true. So you've got so a lot of time to, to wonder. Yeah, I'm just like, and I actually had um, one of the neuro girls reached out to me and was like, hey, I've been thinking about you. Have you heard anything? I was like, negative, you know? And she's like, okay, well, I'll keep hoping, you know, thinking good thoughts. I'm like, and that makes me happy that I've had um, a lot of the neuromuscular girls who I would be competing with reach out to me and share their frustrations and the fact that they're like, no, you should be with us. You know, this isn't fair. Um, and they're all like, well, we're rooting for you and all that. And that makes me happy because I don't want anyone to think it's unfair that I would be competing against them if they think it's unfair. Um, so it's, it's nice to have, I guess, the support of what would be my competitors. And that makes me happy. <laughs> and you have a lot of documentation just in your videos that you were talking about of your tics imp impacting your workouts. Mm -hmm. 
because that is happening. I think it was one of the like, twenty two point three or something where you like had to stop. Yeah, I had to I had to come off the pull up bar and then my head just lost its mind. Um, I assume probably they would count that as like mannerisms or a tick, um, even though it was like super super violent. Um, but it's just. Yeah, it happens. The gagging one is definitely the one where I'm like, this isn't right. Like, this isn't good. Um, but at least I'm, I'm really entertaining everyone around me when I run outside really fast. And they're like, no, okay, Morgan's, Morgan's out the door, you know, just like, hauling ass. How long have you had Tourette's or been uh, diagnosed with it? Yeah, uh, I had my first tick in sixth grade. Um, and it was in my finger. It did this. So it's my pinky, uh, touching this. Um, and I was like in keyboarding class. I was like, that's weird, whatever. And then they kind of just like spiraled a little bit. Um, I have, and then they, for people who don't know about Tourette's, they move. So I had one in my stomach where I'd like suck in my stomach, which would stop my breathing. Um, I have them all in my face, all in my neck. A lot of my eyes, um, where I roll my eyes, I actually got in trouble in high school. Um, I think I did that. And my choir teacher was like, don't think I didn't see that. And I was about to be like, ah, oh, just never mind. Like, I didn't want to fight it. I, okay. You know, so I've had it. Uh, they're very slow to diagnose Tourette's because it's very like, like you have to have both the motor and the vocal. Um, piece and you have to have them for over a year so we went in I think after about eight or nine months of me having this one um and I think I had one in my neck at the time and the doctor was like you have ticks but I'm not saying anything yet and then um finally I think a few years later we went to another doctor and they're like we're just gonna go ahead and give you that um saw a neurologist about it uh, we did there actually I'm very open it uh, open about it on my Instagram now I kind of use it as like a little journal um, to like let people know um, but I my neurologist at the time was like a hippy dippy from California and he's like hey like we're trying this new thing um, and I got Botox done on my face and in my neck so it was uh, all the way through here and then all the way down my neck um, to see if it could paralyze the muscles so they wouldn't move because mm -hmm. a lot of my ticks are like that and in my face and um so it ended up actually paralyzing uh, um, this side of my face and this side of my neck and so I for six months I looked like I had a stroke because this side of my face was like this it wouldn't smile. And then uh, I couldn't hold my neck up. If I did a sit up, I had to physically hold my head because oh, I was no. like a baby. Yeah. <laughs> I was like a baby. I was like, oh my gosh, like <laughs> wild. And my mom loved, she was like, take a picture with me. I was like, dude, come on. Like, this isn't funny anymore. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you, your takes have changed. Yeah. How do you deal with just not really knowing? what's next not knowing what's going to be the new tick not knowing how it's going to impact your workouts or how you have to adapt um so like when i started crossfit like they actually i feel like it made them better and that's why i really liked it because they made them it i think because it gave me something to focus on i didn't have to think about anything but then i realized the things you don't have to focus on in crossfit rowing biking uh, kettlebell swings, wall balls, things like that, where you're kind of like very up and down side to side. Um, that's when they would start acting up. And I was like, eh, it's fine. Like I could do a little head nod. Um, there's even a video at Wadapalooza when we're on the rovers and I was rowing and I'm doing stuff with my head. Um, and I think I looked over at my boyfriend. And I was like, you know, I'm rowing. I'm like, come on, man, because it happens on the longer ones. Um, I didn't notice. <laughs> yeah, no, no one usually does. That's the thing is like, everyone's like, didn't even know. I was like, oh, I did. <laughs> I'm losing my mind over here. Um, but yeah, so it's just like, it really depends. Um, with this gagging one, this is, uh, 
This one scares me. I think none of them have ever scared me. This one does just because like I, um, it happens when I lay down. So when I'm doing bench press or something like that, uh, having a bar right over me and then gagging it, I'm like, man, I'm going to just right on my face or like having a bar overhead. Um, I think I was doing a snatch and as soon as I lifted it off the ground, I gagged. I was like, well, I guess we're going to keep going. So it, this one I'm learning to really just work around because one, thankfully I can feel when it's coming. I don't know exactly when it's going to happen, but I can feel my throat tighten up and I can feel like, okay, something's going on. Um, so I can just try to breathe through it, but it's going to happen. And, um, just kind of like a side note with Tourette's, you also have OCD. It's a double-sided coin. Um, so my gag one happens in threes. I don't know why that is. <laughs> um, so I'll gag once I'll gag twice. And then the third one will be either like a loud, like, you know, burp or throw up. It's one or the other. So, but that's how I'm like, sweet, that's my third. All right, we're good to go. You know, like, then I'll have like a little break, but usually it's three of them in a row. And I'm like, so I'll just drop the bar, breathe. Okay, let's try it. Like, let's try again, you know, <laughs> but that's, this one's definitely um, a challenge. And how, do you, how do you mentally deal with the fact that you finish in first? Like you could be games bound if you were to do the semifinal, but not knowing if that's where you're going, if you're doing the semifinal, if you're not, like you have a real chance of going to Madison if you do. Yeah. Um, that's wild to me. <laughs> I, I definitely was like, never thought anything would happen like that to me. Um, it would be cool just because I really want to bring awareness more to like Tourette's itself. I know it's, um, not a very known thing um mostly just because like I live my life pretty normally it's stopped me from having a lot of the jobs that I went to school for what I wanted to do um but I haven't really held on resentment to that I've just kind of been like well as the cards you've been dealt keep on going um so I just kind of want to show that like you can still do it like Honestly, I think it makes me a little more fun. I'm a little like kooky and weird. And I think it all comes from my brain that's literally going like this a hundred miles per hour all the time. Um, it was nice to read uh, in the video that my friend put up in one of the comments, someone had said, my training partner has Tourette's as well. When we lift, it gets really bad. It was like props to anyone who can like do anything like to this high of a degree, you know, with that. And I was like, it's, it's nice to know and be like, okay. So, you know, some people are aware and be like, oh yeah, this, this sucks. Like <laughs> it's definitely not normal. And I, some kind of like, I sometimes watch people. I'm like, I wonder what it's like to just like not be moving your face like <laughs> while you're lifting something. But I definitely don't try to like ever sit on it or ever like, oh, poor me. I don't, I don't really care. Um, it's me. It's who I've been. Um, and I've had it, yeah, for more than half my life now. So, and it, it doesn't look like it's going away from what my doctor said. She was like, well, it's going to be there forever. So have fun. Um, <laughs> so I was like, yay, let, let's have fun with that one. So I just more wanted to like help people learn to either work with them or just kind of work around them in order to be able to like stay healthy, stay fit. Like this doesn't have to be your end all be all where you're like, Oh, you know, I can't do this because I'll tick or something. You can find something that will like kind of stop them or at least, you know, sedate them for a second. <laughs> well, thank you so much for your time today. I really appreciate you talking to me about this and I hope you get that semis invite and maybe we can do a follow-up if you uh, end up going to the game. Oh, y'all will all know if I get that semis invite. <laughs> I'll be the first thing on my Instagram.